Alright everybody, this is Julian from Raw Physique again. First off, I don't know if I'm gonna be Thor or Sora. Like from the video game Kingdom Hearts for Halloween. Thor, fucking badass, kicks ass. People think he's fucking cool, he's fucking a Marvel character. Thor's just fucking boss. Sora is in a good video game. Entertaining, kinda kitty, not as good as Final Fantasy VII. But anyway, anyway, alright back to this. So today I want to talk about, before my last video I talked about coming off of intermittent fasting. Um, or at least before I was doing it like seven days a week. Sometimes I would like on the weekends I'd have a cheat day or something like that. Have breakfast and like go over my calories like all that jazz. But generally I was intermittent fasting every single day doing the, well for me it was probably like a 18 hour uh, window of fasting and then a six hour window of eating sometimes even less it was you know actually it's probably closer to 20 hours fasting four hour eating window which uh was fun it was awesome it was badass i was kind of plateauing out but then again i have been working out for like over a decade and a half so like anything to do with like beginner gains or like you know trying to gain a bunch of weight to gain strength which you can do when you do plateau out like all that's kind of out of the window i don't want to do that i don't want to gain like a bunch of weight i want to you know year round kind of look you know not necessarily cut cut but you know like this kind of have like an all right build people know you work out uh, not like 100 percent ripped because when you have like a really low fat content on your body, like I'm talking anywhere between 10 and 12%, it's very, very hard to make gains like that, especially if you're, if you have like average genetics. Me, I probably have like around average genetics, give or take a little, either like on the high end or low end. So like 99% of the people watching the video will have genetics kind of like mine. So if you're trying not to get fat, but you're trying to gain a lot of strength, uh, that's kind of like where we would sit together. But anyway, uh, past that confusion that I just probably spewed out on everybody. Back to the intermittent fasting. So I did that for like over a year and I was plateauing out. I've uh, been working out for like at least a decade and a half, probably closer to two decades now. And my strength uh, and volume and exercises, uh, I would just kind of seesaw back and forth. One day if I'm doing bench, I could get a little bit higher on the scale of my volume and strength. Uh, but then next week when I would work out, uh, it, would, it could go down a little bit and up. And it, it looked almost like a heartbeat. Like all my exercises, volume and strength levels, uh, putting them in Jeff Fit, which is the workout tracking app I use. It'll show you volume, your strength gains, what your one rep max could be. You know, all this like awesome information like that. It has a graph and you can click on it and it'll have your one rep max, your volume, strength. And so when I was following it and I'd click on mine, literally looked like a heartbeat. Like, you know, sometimes there might be a little bit of an up, then, uh, you know, it would kind of heartbeat down, you know, a little bit up again, you know, heartbeat down. So like loss gain, loss gain on my strength and one rep max. Well, this, you know, it's been going on for probably around eight months like that, which doesn't have to really do with the intermittent fasting at all. But it seems like I kind of hit uh, a plateau that I couldn't get by. And then again, if you are like uh, new to this, new to working out, like, you know, if you've only been working out for, uh, let's say, under five years, you could intermittent fast and you will make gains. You can watch some of my past videos on that. It's good. You'll make gains. If you're trying to cut and cut down, it's super awesome for that. It's like one of the best tools in your inventory you could actually do and use is intermittent fasting. You feel more saturated at the end of the day when you sit there and you can have larger meals. It's a lot better than pecking like a bird at these like low calorie meals throughout the day because you'll always be hungry and you'll never really be satisfied. Or at least I never was. Uh, it was. That was real shitty when I was on a cut doing that. Intermittent fasting though, if you're doing intermittent fasting, it's awesome and it helps that out. But if you want more information on that, just watch one of my past videos on it. Okay, anyway, back to my shitty plateau. So, I decided to come off of intermittent fasting and 
this is my first update uh, real update past that. So at first when I came off, I would work out fasted. I'd stop eating probably like around 10 o'clock at night, wake up just due to my schedule, wake up in the morning, drink some coffee, go to the gym. Uh, if I ate something when I woke up, it's such a, you know, narrow time band, you know, within 40 minutes of waking up, I'm in the gym. If you eat anything in that period of time, it's not going to help. It takes your body a while to digest. So I'm still working out fasted. So uh, before, when I would get home after my gym time, I wouldn't eat until 6 p.m. So I'd be, you know, in an eight, 10 hour fast before I went to the gym. And then after that, I'd be in another eight to 10 hour fast. And again, that didn't hurt or anything. It's just that I've been working out for so long. I've kind of, you know, I'm closer to my maximum potential than uh, a beginner would be. So I need every little single thing I could get to try to get my strength moving. And I don't want to like eat a bunch and gain weight in order to do that. I still want to have like a good looking figure, or at least what I consider a good look. So when I came off of it for about the first month after I'd get back from the gym, I would actually eat a meal with protein. And then four hours later, I would uh, have like a protein bar and like a snack and then like I would eat kind of normal throughout the rest of the day and this is all with the exact same amount of calories as I was when I was intermittent fasting also which didn't make dinner quite as fun because it's not gonna be this luxurious meal but anyway so my strength and my gains now this is where it kind of gets interesting so they kind of went up slightly. Uh, my stamina was like a little bit better. Uh, my strength was uh, a tiny bit better. It went up and down, but it's still doing the heartbeat thing. Almost like having a good day and an off day, good day and an off day. So surprisingly, that didn't seem to help too much. Now I think there's just the most minuscule of improvement in my exercise, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough to really justify coming off of intermittent fasting. Now, what I started doing, which so far I've only been doing it for about a week and a half like this, but I have noticed improvements in an upward trend of my stamina and my strength. What I've been doing is right before I've been going to bed, maybe like 30 minutes before going to bed, I'll kind of carb up. Like I'll have a bowl of rice, which is a slow a bowl of brown organic rice, which is kind of like a slow... A digestion carb that takes a long time for your body to break down and I will have a cottage cheese with that like a good serving of cottage cheese and that has casein in it which is a slow digestion protein so I had this at night so it takes my body a while to you know work through all this and break it down so come morning when I work out because I don't have time to eat a pre-workout meal and it actually have an effect. So this is like, uh, this is the best I could do with the rice and the cottage cheese. But by the time morning comes around and I go to the gym, my body still has some of that carbohydrate and protein amino acids to use as fuel to kind of give me a little bit of stamina. And with that, along with coming off intermittent fasting, uh, that is actually keeping me in an upward trend of gaining, uh, so far, it seems like muscle and strength. And uh, for some reason, I'm actually, I, I've been kind of losing a little bit of body fat with that as well. I don't know if there's any like other influence uh, that for some reason I'm not seeing why that would be the case for me to be losing body fat, but uh, but I don't care, it's awesome. So I'll actually, I'll give another update in like a week or two, let you guys know how it goes, like uh, when I have more information and statistics on my workouts and my volume and my one rep max, um, and I'll, I'll let you know how that progress goes. But for a tip, if you work, you know, have to work out in the morning like me, you know, drink a cup of coffee, uh, drink a big glass of water so you're not dehydrated because in the morning you'll be dehydrated. But I would say before you go to bed, like 30 minutes before you go to bed, because if you have like a big meal right before you go to bed, it could like fuck with your sleep. So 30, 45 minutes before you go to bed, have a cup of like organic rice and a cup of cottage cheese, and you will notice improvements. Because I, I almost immediately noticed improvements on this. And this was coming from 
intermittent fasting being plateaued out and coming off of intermittent fasting for like a month and still being plateaued out. So this is like, you know, for me, probably for someone with average genetics, this is a thing you should definitely do if you are doing morning workouts and, you know, you don't have two hours to digest like a fucking apple or cereal or some type of carb load you're doing before the gym. So anyway, I will give you an update in a, in a week or two. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you. If you want me to do a video, just let me know. If you want to keep seeing these pimp videos, please like it and subscribe over here. And all right, y'all, that's it for today. Peace.